Hello everyone. Happy Fitness Day 19. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Instead of being face to face on the camera, I'm going to show you my planner. This is my 2024 planner setup, but I'm going to show you that a page that I created for my planner that has my 2024 goals. It has my 2024 habits that I want to track for the year. Plus, I created a 2024 bucket list. So, one thing for each month of next year that I want to do that is completely fitness related. So, I would love to share this with you. So again, this is my planner for 2024. Here is my little Hello January page. So the first page here that we are going to look at is my 2024 bucket list. And I used some little stickers and I used these little, um, these are from a sticker book, an Agenda 52 sticker book. These are some Timu stickers that just have like little motivational sayings like believe in yourself, work hard, nothing is impossible, stay positive, just start, and you have the power to be more than you realize. So I love that. So with that, each month, I went ahead and put a little sticker for all 12 months and I drew a little box. And so for each month, there is one fitness related thing that I wanna do, and this is gonna create my bucket list. So for January, I wanna go hiking at Red Top Mountain. For February, I wanna do a Galentine's Day 5K. And March is my birthday month. So I wanted to do something really special. I used to run several years ago, it's been a very long time, way too long, but I used to run and I loved running. And one summer we went to Biloxi, Mississippi and I ran on the beach. Well, I really ran on the boulevard, not the actual beach in the sand, but it was just so incredible to get up as the sun was rising up, coming over the horizon, over the ocean, and to be out there running at the beach. Now, that was back in 2012, so that's been more than 10 years ago, and so this year for my birthday, I want to go to the beach, and I want to run on the beach, so that is my bucket list for March. For April, there is a 5K that's close to me. It's in a county close to me. I want to do another 5K, so I picked three 5Ks for the year, and three uh, pretty decent local hikes. So for May, I want to hike Pine Mountain. For June, I want to get certified in plate by Zumba, which is like I have the certification to teach Zumba classes, like the dance, even though I haven't done that. <laughs> I want to, that's actually on the bucket list, but they also have a course that you can take called plate by Zumba. And it's basically a certification to kind of help with nutrition and like meal meal prepping and stuff. So I want to get certified in that by June. <clears throat> Excuse me. July, there is a 5K here at Red Top in my hometown. So I want to I want to do that. August, I want to wear shorts in public. That sounds like such a little small, insignificant thing to most people, but for me, that's huge. I haven't worn shorts in public in years, <laughs> except if I've been at the beach or the pool, and I'm very self-conscious about it even then. I'm super self-conscious about it, um, but I want to confidently wear some shorts out this summer. September, I want to do a fall hike at Pine Log. October, I want to teach my first, at least by October, I want to teach my first Zumba class and I want to do a party in pink Zumba class. In November, by November, I want to learn how to belly dance. 
So that's my bucket list item for November is to do a belly dance. And then I would like to round the year off by doing a Jingle Jam Zumba class. So there's two major months of the year that I want to teach my own Zumba class. I have three hikes and I have three 5Ks and then learning to belly dance, getting certified in plate by Zumba and jogging on the beach. So this is my bucket list for 2024. So now we will flip over and I will show you my goals and my habits to track. So again, I just use some of these little stickers from a fitness sticker book I have and a couple of quotes like you are great, create your dreams, believe in yourself, be you bravely and look forward. That's where the light is. So this is kind of a little motivational page. But my habits that I want to track for next year are movement. Every single day I want to move. I don't care if it's a walk, if it's a workout, if I'm going to the gym, if I'm just out in the yard playing with the babies, walking the dog. I need some movement going on every single day. Food tracking. I recently joined Bat Weight Watchers. I started out doing real good. There are days that I actually do not track my food, even though right now I'm supposed to be very consistent and I'll stand on top with tracking because I'm supposed to be tracking my carbohydrates as well as my sodium intake. And there are days that I fail at that. So I want to be more deliberate and more consistent with food tracking. I want to track my blood pressure. I want to make sure I'm checking it every day and my weight every day. And I want to create a log to track my blood pressure and my weight every single day. I want to be making sure I'm getting hydrated. I want to drink 120 ounces of water every single day. That's, that's the goal um, or that's what we're aiming for. That's the habit is that we're going to stay hydrated. Daily self-care, that is a habit that I want to track every day. Doing a proper skincare routine, because these are things that are going to help with my mental health as long as, with, as long, along with my physical health and getting seven hours of sleep. I average about five to five and a half hours of sleep right now, and I would love to be able to to figure out a way that I could get at least seven hours of sleep. So I'm definitely going to be tracking these habits right here for next year. And then here we are with my 2024 goals. One is to lose 60 pounds. I would definitely love to lose more than that because I have more than that to lose. But if I could lose at least 60 pounds for the year, I would be happy with that. So I set what I feel like is a very realistic and attainable goal for me. I would like to get certified in kickboxing. I love to kickbox. And when I first started out, like working out, doing fitness, and I think it was back in 2009, the very first thing I ever did that made me fall in love with fitness was I saw an infomercial, it was Beachbody back at the time, and it was Turbo Jam, Shalene Johnson, and I absolutely fell in love with kickboxing. Obviously, over the years, I fell completely out of love with fitness and working out, or I wouldn't be in the shape that I'm in right now, but I want to find that passion again, find that love, and I would love to get certified as a kickboxing coach. I would love to get me a brand new workout wardrobe. And as I'm working out and progressing through and losing weight, I feel like I should be needing new clothes at some point during the year because I should be like shrinking from the clothes that I currently have. I want to create a cookbook. I want to create like, whether if it's not, necessarily a cookbook to sell or to to like mass produce but just something for me 
I want to play around with recipes. I want to try to take like a little more healthy versions of some of my favorite recipes. And I just want to compile like all of my favorite go-to recipes and just kind of create me one book. That's like my go-to book for everything. So I want to create a recipe book. I would like to visit a chiropractor. I commuted to Atlanta for seven years where I had to sit in my car for like uh, three and a half, anywhere from three and a half to six hours a day sitting in the car. I work eight and a half hours a day where I'm sitting at a desk in front of a computer. My part-time job, I sit at a desk and monitor watching a computer screen. So I have a lot of like tension in my shoulders and my neck. I would love to get to go to a chiropractor and get an adjustment. And then my last goal, which is last but certainly not least, and that is to create my own choreography. And that kind of goes hand in hand with teaching my very first Zumba class. I have to create my own unique choreography for my class. And that is definitely a major goal that I have for 2024. So that is it right there in a nutshell. That is my 2024 habits to track, my goals, and my big 2024 bucket list. So I hope you got some kind of inspiration or motivation from this. And I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day. And day, evening, morning, night, wherever you are, whatever time it is, I hope it's a good one for you. And I will see you tomorrow for Fitness Day 20. Bye.